welcome to Venture Van Expo, Big Bear 2, 2022. I'm Jamie with RV Components. Want to walk you around and show you some of the new stuff we do. RV Components, we are a van builder as well as a DIY parts supplier. Been in business since 1999, been building Sprinter van since 07. I uh, want to show you some of the new stuff. We want to show you our new low roof. Uh, it's a low roof gear hauler. Take a look at it. You like like a flat. It's basically a gear hauler. It's set up for the guy that's uh, a skier, snowboarder, mountain biker, mount motorcycle. Does a little bit of everything, keeping it really basic, low roof. So it's do it in the city. Um, Twelve volt AC, lots of good stuff. We've got a new step on the outside of the van, aluminum step, fabricated in house by RV Components. So another new product for us here at RV Components is our new side ladder, an aluminum ladder that's going to mount to the pinch weld body line on the bottom of the van. It also attaches to our roof rack. Why don't you come on inside, watch yourself on our bug net. So this is our 170 extended demo van. It's what we would call a touring van. This is our home away from home when we're at the shows. A little bit of everything, 12 volt AC, panel bed, dinette setup, aluminum cabinetry. Um, this is our new galley system that we're working on. This happens to be a, a 56 inch. So what we've done is it's a 32 inch base cabinet. We've got a 16 inch cabinet here. We keep a lot of our electronics in there, um, storage here, and then we've got a new drawer system that is uh, proprietary to RB. More dry storage. Yeah, so the cool thing about the seat is it is electric, so it does and I say lay flat, it gets really darn close, very comfortable. It also does swivel around so you can get a great angle looking out your door, looking at your beautiful scenery. Um, we've got a 34 inch, uh, we call it the Bondo bench. Uh, this is not for transportation. It's a great storage location. A lot of electronics go in there, our subwoofers, our amps, things like that. Also storage, we have a vacuum system inside the van. Take a look and check us out at rbcomponents.com. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, this is John at Agile Off-Road. Uh, we're up here in Big Bear for the Adventure Van Expo, and uh, we'll go over some of the product that we brought. Uh, we've got the ARB Locker. We're the exclusive U.S. distributor of the ARB Locker. We're also doing re-gears for the uh, sprinters. Um, if you're not familiar with the ARB Locker, this allows you to get you know, 100% traction in the rear. So uh, here's the display unit here, and they're showing how it differentiates here. You basically, you're gonna turn on have an air source, and when you activate the locker, it allows the rear end to lock up, and this gives you maximum traction on both sides. You can also just deactivate this. This system is well used in the off-road industry, and ARB is very, very well known in that industry uh, for the off-road, wh whether it's racing or just recreational. So one of the other new products that we're showing here at this event, or right now we just are showing them, is our reinforcement kits that we're doing for the back of the Sprinter. One thing that we see a lot of is the upper frame cracking. Uh, it generally will crack over from this hole here into another location or from this hole over here. We've also had upper shock mounts come undone if they're not properly torqued. We did do a double shear bracket on this. We've also reinforced this part of the frame. We're helping out in this area as well in the bump stop. Another key feature that we've done is we've reinforced the lower bump stop bracket. Uh, this lower bump stop bracket can fail or bend over. We've added a return here and a return here, and this allows us to also tie into the shock mount here. All of what we're building is the orange, and this just bolts over the factory uh, suspension, so there's no real modifications required. Another thing that we've done, a lot of people spend a lot of money on armoring the front suspension, and we see a lot of the wheel speed sensors getting cracked and broken. So what we've done here is just a real simple modification where we're uh, putting on a guard onto the wheel speed sensor. If you have a new Sprinter, a wheel speed sensor I think is about 170 bucks. We're hoping this kit will be about 100 bucks for the pair. And if you're living in your van and you want internet, everybody's going with the, uh, the Starlink. And this is a, one of the Starlink mounts uh, that we we're using from Star Mounts. And Brandon's done a really good job of making a lot of unique solutions for this. This one's just low profile. This one's set up with uh, the sea suckers, and sea suckers can actually be just mounted to a flat surface. But more of the van customers are just wanting to add this right onto the rack. We can actually just bolt this right down. But as you can see, it's extremely low profile. It's a bit of work getting it in there, but we're selling these, and we're also doing the modification to the antenna to mount it into the, uh, the low profile mount. 
So come in and let us know if you need any help with mounting your uh, Starlink um, on your roof. And we'll help you out. How's it going, guys? This is True Van over here. Uh, this is our new Vision Plus layout over here. So right over here, these, this is our three-in-one layout. Right now, it is a full garage area. You can put in like a kayak, a canoe over here. Uh, you can put so much stuff, and it feels like a 170 wheelbase, but it's actually a 144. Besides that point though, you know, you can also put in like your mountain bikes, use these adjustable L-tracks over here. Very easy to use, and along with these D-rings. Now, if you're to use your, uh, you know, get an extra office space guy in your area, you have a cushion that also attaches over here with magnetic tape. This down, and now, have an office space and dining room area in the, in the back. Now this is a 30 pound table. If you use your pinky, you bring it up and down if you like. Very, very easy to use. And also has a weight capacity of over 1,100 pounds. Where? It's a very, very sturdy table. Like also bring this down. Within 10 to 15 seconds, you're able to uh, create your near queen size bed. Now, this is our, uh, this is our uh, roof rack skylight. Very easy to use. You can just attach it together and toggle between a full blackout or a bug screen. And all you have to do is just click that button, full natural light. You'll be able to put in your Starlink satellite all around the top as well. So it's very, very versatile function. Now, this right here is our steel uh, enforced cabinets. These are very, very uh, durable cabinets. Look at this. I'm gonna put my entire weight on this, <laughs> shake it around and it's not going to budge. And the best part is it's not gonna make any noise too while it's traveling. As you can see, it's also have a soft close as well. Very easy to, you know, to toggle between. So this, this is a countertop space that we have an extension. Yep. So this right here, this is our hardest selling screens actually. Here, it's a full blackout. So you can also remove the blackout if you want to, roll it up, you'll see through with these bug screens. Nice. And you can also zip it all the way up, and now you're able to use this magnetic function over here. No matter how you do it, it'll automatically snap back into place. This also has its own dog latch over here. So say if you guys have a bigger dog, very adventurous or so, Drop it down on the inside, and you're good to go. Just folds up neatly like this. You just bring it down. And say if you want an extra table for the other person or for yourself. Say if the uh, the front seat were to be too far forward, right? You can't swivel it over here. Mm. Just swivel 360 on the other side. Now you have your extra table over here. So we're Tiny Watt Solar. We build power systems, but we're here to actually showcase our 500 watt solar roof. And yeah, check this one out from the front. You can see we got the lights underneath it. That is a three-in-one product. So we're looking at a 500 watt solar panel. So we got tons of storage space up here. This box closes. Um, so we're up here. We'll check out the inside of the storage box. It makes a nice bench on the roof. We just open this handle and we got the gas struts. It just kind of goes up automatically. I'm not even touching it. And inside, we have 22 cubic feet of storage. I mean, I can, I can go in here, I can get skis and snowboards and surfboards and that kind of thing. You'll see we have a cutout. So the vent works whether the box is opened or closed. You just close the box if you wanted to, and you can lock it. It locks so you can keep all your gear protected and you can walk on it. can expand the square footage of your van with a rooftop balcony. For a 1.25 gallon per minute high Sierra low flow shower head. There's our shower head right there and it is uh, very low flow. It comes out of one single hole uh, to form big drops. That's the difference between ours and everybody else's. Anything to lower it to lower than you want it to. Or go all the way up.
Hi everybody, welcome to Mod Bands. We have our new debut of our new X series. We have the best pop tops in town. We have the biggest battery that anybody offers. We just rolled out our brand new 400 watt rollout solar panels. Come check out our new X series van. Like I said, we have the big, biggest pop tops. We have a collapsible shower, biggest battery, heated floors, heated electric vents, so you're not dealing with that propane. And you also have some of the best storage in these. You have a full queen size bed inside. We have all controlled over an app based. Again, you have the collapsible shower. And again, with the biggest battery in the RV world right now, 2,088 amps, you can run this thing all week long and have no problem. This is our new pop-up shower. When you're ready to shower, it pops up. When you're done with it, it collapses down so you get more counter space. And it has a cassette toilet that tucks away so you're not showering on top of it. it gives you a lot of space, a lot of room, and also gives you the capability to shower inside your vans. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ricky with the Off The Grid Van. We're showcasing one of our custom builds here. This was entirely designed by the customer. We're based out of Murrieta, Southern California. We are a full custom conversion shop. So like I said, the customer designed this whole floor plan himself. He was really adamant on having a large shower with a lot of 45 degree angles in here. So this custom shower that we built for the customer here is a glass door that he really wanted. We put in a Moen Smart Shower Controller, which allows the user to have two different set temperatures. So um, you can have your temperature set to 102 degrees. The Moen will let you know when your shower is ready to go. So from day one with conversations of this customer, he emphasized the importance of the garage of this van. He's an avid mountain biker. You need to be able to get four of his mountain bikes put inside of the van, not stowed on the outside because he's paid a lot of good money for those mountain bikes. So we had to design the cabinets for bikes to be positioned on the very outside of the tray for pedals to clear and handlebars to clear. This whole slide goes out, full extension. And what we've actually done is create a little storage solution for him. Here he's going to put his toolbox, his helmets, his gloves, Hi, this is Haley from Adventure Wagon. We're here at Adventure Van Expo. Um, we are going to show you a couple of our vans here. We've got both kits for transits and um, Mercedes Sprinters. We do in-house installs as well as sell the DIY kits. You can do it yourself. So this is our Sprinter 144 build. This is our most common um, package. Basically, what we're known for is our DIY kit, which is what you see on the walls and everything behind that. So you get all of your wall panels, insulation, reinforcement structure, everything all in one package. So it goes in within a few days. And then you can add on top of that, like our Moab bed, which you see here, we have a longer version to sleep north to south, and then a side to side version called the Traverse. That's made for flares, or if you're a, if you're a little bit shorter, can sleep side to side, takes up less room in the van. And then beyond that, you can add on all kinds of things like the soft storage or the smart floor system, which integrates really well. But yeah, you can kind of build on it and make it your own. Hi, it's Cameron with SMD, and today I'm going to show you our um, SMD 47 gallon replacement tank. So this tank right here is a direct replacement to your 24 gallon tank. Like I mentioned, it's 47 gallons, so you're getting an extra 23 gallons of fuel. So if you're getting 15 miles to the gallon, you can go over 700 miles with our tank. It still retains the um, same OEM sending in it. So it pulls fuel out of here, it's just gonna pull fuel for twice as long out of here. Some questions we get are, hey, it's 47 gallons, so that's 23 gallons more. So it's 140 pounds heavier when it's completely topped off. That's really close to the center line of the vehicle. So it's you know, 140 pounds, so it's like having a girlfriend or a wife in the back seat. Or, um, the tank isn't any extra wider than the stock tank. So if you have water tanks out here, you're all set, you don't need to worry about it. We do have another tank as well that's 40 gallons. The 40 gallon tank is the same as the next tank, it just stops here. And that's made for Rebels or um, any other builds that have anything mounted behind the fuel tank. What we're also showing here today is we've got a Rebel replacement water tank. So this is a 35 gallon replacement water tank. The same kind of concept for the early, earlier and newer storytellers. Hi, Mark Daly with Grid Overland. There's basically three things that set us apart. Number one, as you notice, these little blackhead screws, these are metal screws. And if you notice inside, that metal taps straight into an aluminum frame that's built into all every one of our cabinets. So you're not going to find wood nails or wood screws, um, paneling, you're going to find metal on metal machine screws assembling all of our cabinets. It makes it lighter, it makes it stronger, but ultimately it makes it silent running down the road. You notice the modular layout. A lot of this stuff 
you only need an extra bench seat for four people when someone's sitting in it. Otherwise, it's just taking up precious space and we fold it up and out of the way. Same thing with the bed. But you can use it as a bed or you can use it as an extended countertop, a work surface, a desk with a view. The other thing that really sets us apart is our electric system. So in this van, I have 10,000 watt hours of power. That basically means I could run my off-grid air conditioner for 10, 11 hours, completely autonomous, silent off of battery power. And then my system's smart. So when the battery gets low, it'll automatically start the van, it'll high idle, and it will rapid charge for 60 minutes. And now I have air conditioner in the middle of nowhere for days and days and days. Also, we have a, a pop top on a Ford high runner. Sleeping two on a full-size mattress, 54 inches wide. You've got power up in there. You've got a roof vent fan. You've got Baja lights across the front. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook. Hit us up at gridoverland.com. We'd love to talk to you. What's up, everyone? Jason here with Canyon Adventure Vans, and today I'm going to show you some of the things that we do here with uh, Canyon Adventure Vans and the vans that we work on. Obviously, we manufacture storage systems, soft goods, mattresses, window covers. Let me show you some of the cool things we have at the show. I'll give you a quick rundown. This is, this is the Groove Lounge and the Storyteller, and it also turns into a bed, so we've created a custom tri-fold uh, mattress that goes on top of the Groove Lounge. Um, these are our famous Showtime curtains. They're all insulated, heavy duty curtains to block out light, to give you privacy to black out your van. Um, we have shelves, we do TVs, we do all bamboo swivel tables everywhere. Uh, if you come back here, instead of the glass, this replaces the glass. We have our L-Track mirror system, so you can all window covers, all of our window covers stay put. You don't have to take them off, so they're always there. All you do is unzip them. You can open them up for a little uh, vent here. It's coming over here. I'll show you the storage system from the back side, but this is one of the nicest features of our new GSS-1. We got 44 inch drawers that slide out so you can get to all your gear on the inside without going to the back of your van. This is our new mattress. This is a brand new, never done before in a Storyteller or uh, Winnebago Rebel. And what we did is we partnered with a local manufacturer that makes regular mattresses. Uh, coming back here, we have trash cans. Like, where do you put a trash can in these places? So, we're giving you an idea of just a great place. You got flip up chairs. So, when I want to sit here and work, I take the mattress off. And now I have a full on counter that I can eat, work, put my computer on here. Gives you all the storage. So, I have tons of storage in here. You got this big pull out drawer. I got my one wheel in here all my gear, we got a fold down table here. Again, what's great about our seats is they fold up or down and it just gives you a lot more space and storage in there. 